Hey guys, how are you today? In this tutorial, I'm very excited to show you uh, how to build your first app on Vision Pro that has recently been out and there are a bunch of credits and a bunch of criticism on it, but it's a brand new app, uh, brand new gadget and you can use it with your own app, uh, be the first developers to tackle the Vision Pro and yep, I'm so excited to show you how to build your first app on your Vision Pro and on your v on Vision OS and yep, using the Reality Kit and Swift and Swift UI so uh, yep, as you can see this is our simulator here on my Mac uh, note that if you want to develop uh, an app for Vision Pro and Vision Pro OS, you have to have a MacBook based uh, silic Apple Silicon. It doesn't uh, work on the Intel based MacBook MacBooks. So if you have it, join me uh, to write and to code for the Vision Pro, Apple Vision Pro. So this is it. This is our app. Very simple. It's uh, the first app I've ever built for Vision Pro and I want to show you how to code it. Uh, this app, this is a simple ca uh, calculator for Vision Pro and Vision OS. So I say 50, uh, multiply by nine and then 400, 50 and seven factorial. Yep, that's it, that's work. And the simulator works very well. You can zoom in and zoom out, and here's a bunch of options. And here you can change your environment, for example, kitchen at night. Yep, that's it. You can uh, move the, your app here, and yep, also working. So excited to show you how to build this one. So, before all that, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel, please set with dev and like this video and share this share this video with your friends and yep, start a journey to develop apps for Vision Pro and Vision OS with your friends. That's gonna be so fun and so uh, useful for you to be the in, among the uh, first uh, Vision Pro developers. Uh, enough talking and let's jump to the coding so let me just uh, uh, close my simulator here and yep open my Xcode and uh, let me just open a new project here so as I will show you here let me just show you this uh, vision OS documentation on uh, apple uh, developer.apple.com so here you have the documentation, you can read it to uh, gain a knowledge uh, how to develop your apps. So here, uh, before we use iOS tab and then app and next, and here we have to uh, select the vision OS and then the app and here when I say later, later app here and initial scene. If you want to have a 2D scene, you uh, select the window. If you have to, if you want to have 3D scene, you can use the volume and you have immersive space renderer, reality kit or metal. I use uh, reality king and immersive uh, space, full progressive mixed. I say mixed, so here, as, uh, as it says, uh, to your appearance, if you are 3D scenes, uh, and let yeah, me just, yep, here I think, yep, here to display primarily 2D content in your initial scene, choose a window as your initial scene type for primal 3D content, choose a volume, you can also add an immersive scene to place your content in the person's surroundings. So, this is so useful, uh, I recommend it for you to read it if you have any time. So here, next, and yep, create. The Xcode will create us a brand new uh, project and I will go through it, don't worry about that. Uh, 
Uh, I will don't change anything here, just our body to build our app, but I will to go through it to see how much easy to build this uh, Vision Pro apps. So we wait for to for the Xcode to catch the Reality Kit content here. Yep, we have it right there. This is our first app. So here, let me just see. So here, the Xcode built us a reality view here. And yep, immersive view. As you can see, this is our immersive view. You can change it, but uh, for this tutorial, this is big beginner friendly tutorial. We don't want to change it. This is uh, this is it, and we have our content view here. As you can see, this is a Swift UI model 3D. Just add it and takes a word and a toggle that is Swift UI, and then a bunch of options that we're gonna tackle in the next tutorials. <clears throat> So here uh, we have two environment object here and two states and we have a different, a, a, a slightly different uh, abstract. So here window group and then immersive space and we pass the immersive view here. So here we're going to use the uh, MVVM architecture for our calculator. So let's hit the road and create a new group here. New group naming model. And here we have a new C file. And this is this called calculator button. Calculator. Button. So for our view, we have uh, yep here we have an enum. So we have enum calculate button. Yep, this is type uh, string confirm to string type string and case mutable. Then we have the case zero and equal to zero and let me just copy and paste this because this is not much more complex. So here we have our buttons here, zero, one, two, three, four, five, two, nine, and decimal equal plus minus multiple divided clear flip sign, percentage, and factory. So here we have some uh, computed variable. So variable is numeric and boolean type here. So return double of self draw value not equal to nil here and then that is decimal, which is a boolean type, and then we have to return so equal to decimal and then we have variable is operation operation again it is a boolean type and we have a switch here switch self and case dot plus and that's minus and that's multiply and that divide return true and for the default function default return false so as you can uh, imagine, this variable uh, turns out if this is our variable is numeric or not. 
is decimal is to have find out uh, if our variable is decimal or uh, operation <clears throat> if it is plus multiplied minus and divided it returns um, true and if everything else typing or clicked it returns false so here it goes and here we have to create our new model so view model in our view model we have a new C file and naming calculator view model here we have class <clears throat> so class calculator view model and it is confirmed to observable object and here it goes so uh, this is our logic for the calculator. So all the function goes here in our view model. So add published variable display equal to string of zero. Then we have private variable first operand uh, type of double and equal to zero. And then we have private current, current operation, uh, type of calculator button here, um, private variable should reset in display default to false. So this is it. And yep, let me just create some function here and what is going on Look, this is optional so here we have to say we have a append digit so private function append digit and digit string type so here we have to guard not should reset display else uh, display equal to digit and should reset display equal to false then return it and here after uh, outside the scope of the guard we have the display equal to display and zero would be digit else would be display plus digit <clears throat> so here it goes and here if the, the display equal to zero then we pass the digit for our display else would be display plus digit so if you uh for the first entrance we have zero then if we click on five it returns five and else if we want 55 for example so again we have five here on the display so if we uh, click on the five again so this is false then display plus digit so it returns 55 as a string so here it goes and we have private function of append decimal here and if not display that contains and we have dots then display plus equal to dot so this is it so we want to have just one uh, <clears throat> dot in our number so if the display doesn't con contain the dot we can append the display and the dot so here it goes so after that we have the function for prepare for operation so prepare for operation and here is the button calculator button 
here it goes so in our function we have if let <clears throat> equal to parent operation then we have to say uh, for now we have do nothing but uh, in a few minutes we want we create the function that you use here so after that we have first first append upper end equal to double double display else would be zero and the current operation called the button and we should reset display also true here it goes after that we have a title sign so private punk toggle sign here we have the if let value equal to double display then we have display equal to string and uh, minus value so this is it as you can see if uh, we can convert the string type of display to our double <clears throat> then the condition good and it uh, return it uh, set a string value uh, uh, if the value is positive and it's converted to double we can use the minus value so it is for example if the value is 10 it is minus 10 and then convert it to a string and the display equal to minus 10 and <clears throat> on the reverse thing is the same so we have convert to the percentage private from convert to percentage here again if let value equal to double of display then we have to display equal to string type of the value divided by 100 and again shoot we said display equal to true and this is it this is as the same as the toggle sign so <clears throat> if we can convert the string the display uh, to double then uh, it returns a value divided by 100 the display and we should reset display equal to true so after that we have calculate factorial here so private on calculate factorial here factorial this is it so cartlet value and this is the integer type so for the factorial we have to use the integer type not double and display so if the value greater or equal to zero <clears throat> else would be return you don't want to <clears throat> use non-integer variables and uh, the minus uh, variable less than zero variables here so we have to display it display equal to string and then we have to calculate our factorial here so value and one and here we have the views so initial result would be one and the next result would be good. so this is it and should equal to true yep that's it and then we have to say the calculate result here so again private function 
document result here. So for our result, we have if let operation operation equal to current operation, then we have the let value equal to double of display. This is an explanation mark. So here we have switch for our operation. So operation. Remember our operation is for uh, the type of calculator button. So we can use our minus plus and multiply. So here we have case dot plus. So this is display <clears throat> equal to string first operand plus value then we have case dot minus is equal to that so let me just copy and paste this just we have to say first operand minus value and then case dot multiply and this is the multiply operation and then this case dot divide <clears throat> and this is the display first operand divided by value in the case default default then break it so here and uh, here uh, outside uh, outside the if scope we have to say should set display equal to true and then current operation equals in the so this is it and here let me just pass it to the current operation here my result in the prepare for operation we have to say calculate result here and we are going to go and we have two <coughs> or three yep three uh remain function so we from clear the display and this is a display equal to string of zero and first operand equal to zero and we set everything so and current operation equal to nil and then private on uh, flip sign and uh, display equal to string of uh, minus double of display in display yep and uh, we have explanation mark here so this is it so and um, we have private on or calculate percentage and this is uh, let value equal to double of display and explanation mark here so display display equal to string of value <coughs> 0 0.01 and should yep that's it this is our view model so let's tackle the content view this is the exciting part here so uh, we want to create our content view for our calculator app in uh, the vision os and this is so exciting for me so in our content view let me just see <clears throat> yeah. so we have to initiate our view model so here we are at state object private variable of view model equal to the calculator, the model, and this is it. 
and then we have let buttons. So we have a two D array here for our buttons. So we have array and array of calculator button. So let me just copy and paste this one. Here we have clear flip sign percentage divide and seven eight nine multiply and yep this is the arrangement of our button so this is the first row this is the second row this is the fourth row and so on and so forth so here in our body <clears throat> uh let me just see yep. here we have <clears throat> here we have a navigation stack instead of remember to don't uh Clear the unchange here, so uh, this is for our immersive space. So here we have navigation stack, and here we have a VS stack here. <clears throat> so in our VS stack, we have H stack, H stack. Yep. In our H stack, we have a spacer. Then we have text. Let's set the calculator, the view model. View model here that display. Let me just see if it's working or not. <clears throat> yep, we have a little zero here. So we have font dot system <coughs> size 60. And the foreground style will be the white. And we have a padding here. Let me just see. Yep, we have it. Zero. So we have to frame it <coughs> with the width, with the max width of infinity and the alignment of the trailing. And here we have the multi line multi line text alignment in the tray length and we have line limit of one and minimum scale factor would be 0 0.5 and we have the font again font dot system size 64 <clears throat> and here we have padding of dot <coughs> horizontal so this is our display for our our calculator. Here we have zero. So <clears throat> here for our HS side, we have padding here modifier. After that, we want to add our buttons to our calculator. So uh, in our real stack, we have to add two for each loop to. Uh, or to the uh, our array of buttons. So this is uh, because uh, we, uh, we use two for each loop because it's 2D array. So here we have for each and we use buttons, buttons, and for the ID we use self. And then we have the row in and here we go and here we have a stack for each row yep yeah it just stack and here for each again and we use row and then id that self and here we have the access to our button here so button in and here we pass button so for the action, we use calculator, uh, sorry about that, view model, dot handle, oh, we forgot something in our view model. Let me just see. So uh, in our view model, 
we have to uh, create a function, so private function uh, or several that func handle button press. So here we have a button, and this is several that button, and this is the calculator button type and here it goes we have a uh, switch for each button so switch button so here we have case dot zero dot one dot two dot three dot four dot five dot six dot seven dot eight and the nine and we want to call the append append digits append digits and for the digits we pass button dot draw value here after that we have case the decimal so for this one we want to uh, invoke the append decimal function and then we have case that uh, plus that minus that multiply and that uh, divide so here we have prepare operation and uh, we pass button here so case and after that that equals Calculate result. So case dot clear. Then we pass the clear function. So here we have clear display case dot flip sign. Then we use the uh, toggle sign here case dot percentage percentage so here we use the convert to percentage and case factorial we want to uh, calculate factorial here that's it we have it so in our content view for our button we have to pass the calculator so view model dot handle button press and we pass the button here so uh here we have it and here for the label we have a text and we say button dot row value Let us see. Yep, that's good. We have our calculator, so we want to design it. So we have dot font and we be the title. And here we have to frame it. And for the bed. So let me just see and I will explain to you what we are going to do. as you can see we have to frame all the uh buttons in a frame with a specific width and height because now we have different uh, size of the button so if we uh choose a specific size and frame it in a specific size we have all the same so we have to frame it width would be 150 and height would be 100 and then we have we can frame the label here with 75 and 100. 75 is like a square and uh, let me just see yep that's all so here we have dot frame Uh, 
max weight no max weight would be dot infinity here and we have a padding that is for all so this is it our calculator here so let me just Try it, 50 multiply by 9, right there, 7 plus 9, 7 plus, oh, this is divided. So let me just, um, modify this one, let me just see, calculator button here, and we don't want that we want to use this and in our content view let me just let us see yep it's better because it's no difference between yep. working 72 divided by 9 8 yep and um, for factorial that's working so let me just build it and then we are good to go in the meantime that will be built for us don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share this video with your friends this is uh, the beginning of our journey to vision os and vision apple vision pro and we're gonna build amazing app together I'm a beginner too here and I, uh, it is my pleasure to teach you how to code with uh, the reality kit and reality kit content. So support me to, uh, uh, to, uh, to continue these tutorials. So let me just see where it goes. Uh, Vision Pro, yep. So we have to wait. So this is our calculator app here. And yep, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, helping me to create this amazing Swift UI tutorial. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe my channel, Piotr Dev. Don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. I hope you enjoy it. And yep, until the next tutorial for Swift and Swift UI with an amazing app. Uh, take care and practice until you make it. So, uh, bye bye guys. Have a great day.